Praise be Jesus Christ, and thank you for joining me for Lexio on the Go. This is the third Tuesday of Advent, and our scripture reading is from Isaiah 30. Um, two things that I want to highlight here. First, the Lord waiteth that he may have mercy on you. The Lord waiteth that he may have mercy on you. And also, Isaiah says, and will not cause thy teacher to flee away from thee anymore. So, you know, I think there's two things that are kind of two questions that are answered here. One is, why is there the long or what seems to be a long period of time between the first coming and the second? The first coming being his nativity, which we are about to celebrate at Christmas. And then the second being his second coming, the time of judgment, which we uh, await. Um, and this time in between, I think, seems like a long time, maybe for every generation. Um, but we, we want to to wait because this is the time of mercy. So the delay is is allowing there to be the conversion of souls. And every age, um, there are people that, you know, maybe need more time to respond to God's grace. God is giving his grace to us each and every day. But the fact is, many times we are blind to that grace. And so therefore, we don't uh, we don't receive it because we don't know it's there. Once we begin to see, um, once we begin to see God's grace, then we do respond and have that conversion, and and that's what's necessary. So so time, actually, is one of the greatest gifts that God gives us. This duration of time where we can uh, perceive His graces and then receive those graces and respond, and that's conversion. So while we wait, the question is, you know, not not why we're waiting, because the why is His mercy. But while we are waiting, let us actively pursue the salvation of souls. There should be an urgency to this. Um, I, I think sometimes I fall into the trap that, well, um, maybe I'm okay, which would be, of course, the sin of presumption. Maybe I'm okay, but um, you know, why? Why are we waiting? You know, I'm 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 ready to go, and so, but we can't do that as Christians. We can't say, well, I'm ready to go, so uh, why don't we get this thing going here and have the second coming, you know, happen now. I think we have to be um, urgent and have compassion on those that are not ready to go. We know that many, many people are not ready to go, and, and also we aren't ready to go. We still have attachments to sin. We still have damage due to forgiveness and sin. Um, we still um, not only have the bad habits, but the attraction to the sin. And so we all have to make ourselves ready, and we all have to do this together. The second part uh, that I want to focus on is, Isaiah says, um, and I think this is in reference to, um, you know, I guess in the end, actually, and will not cause thy teacher to flee away from thee anymore. So there's something about the fact that um, towards the end of before Jesus comes, so the first time, you know, there was a 500-year period between the last prophet and Jesus being born. During those 500 years, Israel did not have a prophet. And so their, their teachers, the ones that would proclaim the truth about the word of God, um, had, had flee. They, they fleed away. You know, they weren't there. They weren't present. And so there's something true about, um, I guess, at the time right before Jesus comes, whether it be his first coming or his second coming, there is a sense that the teachers are not around those that are proclaiming with boldness uh, the truth of Jesus Christ um, are not to be found. And I think we can say it seems that in every age, at least in these end times, from the time of the resurrection to now, in every age there has been a heresy. There is no doubt about that. Um, and, and in the midst of those heresies, that, that, that false truth or half-truth, it seems like there is a small group of teachers or faithful that are keeping things going in the midst of falsehood. So um, th there, there will always be a small group of those teaching the truth, but I think we also wish there were more. I wish, uh, I know for, for instance, I wish that I had more teachers, uh, more people to stand up and tell the truth, more mentors. Um, and I, I find that, um, and that is not the case. I find that there's a small group of people that are reliable to um, tell the truth and pass on the truths of the faith. And so we have to, again, um, hope that we have strong teachers in every age, but realize that, um, you know, as Isaiah says, the teachers will flee, but there will be a time, um, and this will be the time when Jesus comes again, that um, 
we will no longer have the teachers fleeing and that we will no longer have this confusion or this obscurity, but that we will have the truth because we will see the truth face to face. Thank you for joining me for Lexio on the Go. Please take the time to visit linktoliturgy.com where you'll find fast, free, and faithful resources on the gospel. Also check out uh, Beanwell Coffee, the oratory prayer resources, chant CD, prayer cards, and prayer book. And please uh, do a search for Remnants Divine Mercy Chaplet. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.